The disk unknown not initialized error is a common issue that Windows users may encounter when connecting a new or existing hard drive, SSD, or external storage device to their computer. This error message indicates that the connected disk has not been properly initialized and is not accessible. In this video, we will delve into the possible causes of this error and guide you through the steps to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. So, without any further delay, let's get into the video. But before then, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one. Why does this error occur? There are several reasons why this error might occur, some of which includes corrupted or missing partition table, a faulty cable or connection, driver issues, physical disk issues, etc. Method 1. Initialize disk, no data loss using any recover. This is the safest way to fix the disk unknown not initialized issue. You'll need to recover data from the not initialized disk first. Using any recover will get back all our data that were lost. Basically, any recover is a one-stop solution to recover files on a PC or Mac. Even if they are not showing up and it also supports a full range of devices like SSD, SD cards, USB flash cards, etc. It can recover almost all files as long as you know, which includes photos, videos, office documents, emails, audio, etc. So check the video description to try this amazing recovery tool to see if it can find your files. And for a limited period of time, we have an exclusive YouTube discount just for you. After downloading and installing, run and recover. Click on PC and Hard Drive Recovery and click on your drive and then Recover will automatically scan your drive for all the files that were inside. After the scan, select the files that you want to recover and you can preview the files like photos and video as well even before recovering them. Once that is done, there are filters where you can select the lost files and modify date. It's user-friendly, right? Alright, now after that is done, click on the blue recover button. Select the location where you want to paste in your recovered files and you're done. Don't forget to find the YouTube discount on the channel homepage which is nothing but ARYT0110 to receive a 10% discount on your license. On the buy page, the lifetime upgrades are on a big discount, so I'll apply it. Paste the code on this area and I will get two discounts. Remember that this is a limited time discount, so make sure you act fast. Method 2. Check for updated drivers. First, click on the Start button, search for Device Manager, and open it. Next, you will have to expand disk drives. Right-click on the drive that is showing this error, and click on Update Driver. And finally, click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Now, Windows will install the best drivers for your drive automatically. After that is done, try checking your drive after the update. Method 3. Check Disk Connection Make sure the data and power cables connecting the disk to the computer are connected securely. If using an external storage device, try connecting it to a different USB port. Another fix you can try is using a different data cable to connect your external hard drive to your computer because sometimes a faulty cable is the main culprit. Method 4. Format the disk to NTFS if your computer detects the drive on it, then there is a high chance that the drive is not initialized, has unallocated space, or the file system of your drive has some issues. To fix this, click on the Start button, search for Create and Format Hard Drive Partitions, and open it. Now check if your drive is visible, and for me, the drive has unallocated space. If you see that the drive is not initialized, then right-click on it and click on Initialize. Ensure your disk is selected and MBR is selected. Once confirmed, click on OK. But for me, I'll right-click on the unallocated drive and click on the new simple volume. 
Follow the steps, but make sure the file system is selected as NTFS and click on Next. Finally, click on Finish. Now your drive is ready to be used again. Well, by following all the steps, you can fix disk unknown not initialized in Windows. If you have any doubts or queries, then do let us know in the comment box down below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss any of our future content. Have a great day and I'll see you in the following videos. Until then, take care.